My name is Mo. M to the M O. My comic valentine, sweet comic valentine. Hey baby dolls, it's me Monique and I am just getting back from a very romantic date with my husband and I did get some video footage of my makeup look and also my outfit of the evening so if you want to check that out please look in my video library and you will see exactly how the whole look came together but what I want to do right now is kind of go through how I was able to achieve the Valentine's Day look this is actually a week before Valentine's Day weekend and we do have lots of things planned for next weekend but I wanted to kind of get something created and put together for you so maybe you might want to try the same look on Valentine's Day so um, I did it a week ahead of time just to kind of see you know what I was going to be doing myself and I thought I would share the look with you so I did a lot of new things uh, this time and let's go ahead and just kind of dig into uh, what I did come up with. I'm going to come up closer, excuse me, just so you're able to see the eyeshadow look a little bit more in depth. So as you see it's just a very slight crease, cut crease, not much, and a lot of different shimmers and neutral colors. Um, that I brought in together that was uh, able to just really give it a dramatic yet subtle look at the same time. So uh, let's go ahead and get into exactly what I did to use to achieve the look. And again, if you want to see the look in more living color, check out some other videos that I'm going to also be adding to my library so you're able to really get a really good idea of the vivid um, colors, the true color that this look did achieve. Okay, so the first thing that I did, I used uh, my ELF's Skin Primer. All right, and then after I did that, I used my Milani's Secret Cover concealer and number five which is deep tan which is way 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 too dark for me especially now in the winter time but I just mixed a lighter foundation and with it to kind of bring it closer to my complexion and so I use this as my concealer right after I uh, put the primer on at, at that time I came in with something different I use, normally use a translucent setting powder but this time I went ahead and used Revlon's Age Defying with DNA Advance. So I used this to set it with. And then I actually kind of evened out my skin tone uh, on the rest of my face with this powder. Alright. Then after I did that, I used, this is the Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder. And this color is honey brown. So I use this to kind of bring my co uh, color back to life a little bit because this color here with Revlon is medium deep. It was still too light for me. But again, I just used it really to kind of like even out my skin tone. So I came back in with this color here to bring my skin back to really where it should be. All right, after I did that, I went ahead and went in for highlighting and I used my Jordana highlighter. It's really a bronzer and it's more of a gold gold color but it's got like an underlining effect of like a matte so it's not a lot of shimmer. So I used this at the highest point of my cheekbone right here. All right. 
And then I came in with my new Sonia Kushuk palette. And if you're interested in seeing this, I did a video where I'm showcasing um, my haul. And so this is the actual palette that I use for the eyeshadow look and my blushes. So I used this hot pink for my blush. Okay. And then I used a little bit of the bronzer as well on the apples of my cheek. Not as the highlight, but I put it put that here on the apples of my cheek. All right. So that was the face. So then once I did that, I like to always mist and set my face after I do the foundation, powder foundations and the blushes, bronzers, and if I do contouring, then I come in with my mist and set right after I do that. All right. And kind of let that fan dry. All right. Then at that point, I put on my eyebrows. We've all seen tutorials on eyebrows. Um, if you're interested in how I do it, check out my video library. And in some of, one of those videos back there, I show you how I put my eyebrows on. Okay, so once I did that, I came in with Ruby Kisses eyeshadow primer and actually put that all over the lid. And then I used another product that I hauled that I've never used before, but I love these. And I wish I would have known that they were that good. This one is a L'Oreal Color Fresno Refreshing Cream Eyeshadow and this one is an iced coffee. It's a little little cute shade stick basically. And this is what it looks like. And it's really a beautiful um, kind of like shimmery bronze color. And I'm going to show you just how satiny this stuff is. Look at that. And it has like a cooling effect on your skin. Like right now it's cold. So it's almost like ice. It's the weirdest thing. I've never had anything like this before. So I put that on as my eyeshadow, um, not base because I use the uh, Ruby Kisses primer. So this was just something that I just wanted to use just to kind of um, help my eyeshadow look. Alright, then I came back in with the Sonia Kushuk set. And I used this iced gold color right here. And it is beautiful on top of sticky shadow. So I used this all over the lid. And then I used this brown color here exactly right deep into my crease. I normally bring up my crease color up here, but today I didn't. Today I just put it right here in the crease, right where my eye folds at. Okay, so once I did that and I blended that really, really good, I came in with a matte. Basically, this is by Rimmel London and it's really for cheeks. But neither one of these colors are ever going to work for my skin. So what I did is I used the brown here. And I used that color to blend that brown that I had just put in here. And I just basically, you know, um, helped to transition the color between that brown and then the lighter highlight color. I used that, this brown here and this space here okay then I use this lighter color and it's basically a matte cream with just like a little bit of frost not much so as you see it's very very creamy okay so I use that as the highlight it was just really perfect for this look alright so that's what I did for the eyes you know and you know, it took a little while to get the exact look that I wanted to go for, but it, it came out beautifully. Okay, so then we got that. Then I used LA Colors Liquid Liner. Alright, then after that, that's when I put on my mascara on my, on my 
eyelashes because this helps to clean up the eyeshadow that has fallen on your eyelashes. So I use this All May Dial Up. Love this stuff. Um, then I put on my eyelashes and these are Glam Eyes Remy Hair and this is number 20. So it comes in this package here. So those are the eyelashes that I did use. And again, check out the video that I have up that is going to show you this whole entire look. All right. Then what I used is Clean Colors Lip Liner. And it doesn't have a color, but this is red. It looks peach right now, but this is actually like a beet, beet red. And I love these liners. And so I used the liner, just lined my lips. And then I used it for basically most of the lip. Okay. On top of that, I came in with my L'Oreal Limited Edition lipstick. And this is in Decadent Red. And this is it right here. Alright, so put that all over the lips. And that is... Hi, baby. That is how I did achieve this look. And, oh yeah, once again, I used the mist and set to set it all over once again, alright? Um, also, I wanted to share with you a couple of things that I did purchase yesterday at CW Price. And it was just really an impeccable deal. These are the eyeshadow books that I did get. I thought that they were really, really cute. And I've got some items from Cameo uh, in the past. And so I knew that these shadows were going to be great. Um, and so this first one is called Cameo Combo Palette. And then it shows you on the back what it um, has in here. Just a really, really cute palette. And these are the shadows. And we've got some mattes. We've got frost. We've got blushes. We've got, looks like, some face powders, bronzers, you know, blushes here. And they are very pigmented. I'm not going to stick my fingers in really a lot of them. But let's see, we'll do one here. You're not even going to see that. This one. And we'll do this one. So that's the pigmentation of these palettes. Really good. So I paid a dollar ninety-nine for these ladies. And once you see this one palette, you're it's gonna blow you away. This next one is called Cameo Color Palette. So this one was the combo. This one is called the color. This is what that looks like. Cute, right? And this is the palette. You've got shimmers, you've got frost, you've got satins, you've got mattes. Everything that you would ever need in this cute palette here. And I'm going to show you this beautiful blue. is going to just like be like BAM. I mean, golly. And then so one side is like colorful stuff and the other side is your neutrals. And this is those. So this is without a base. Just out of this world. We'll go ahead and swatch those for you. Look at that. $1.99. Phenomenal. I was like, oh my gosh. You know, because I don't swatch this stuff in the store. So you just really never know what it's going to look like. So when I got it home, I was very, very pleased. Now this is my favorite one. Because it's more neutrals. And this one is called the Eyeshadow Palette, again by Cameo. Cute, cute, cute. Alright, and then when you open it up, check this out. This is